If Battlestar Galactica, Star Wars, or Ex Machina are any indication of what's to come, then we've got our work cut out for us. I can see it now. The headlines read, Robots Take Over the World, or Machines Moving In. With the AI era fast approaching, more and more jobs are being automated. According to a research paper by economists from MIT and Boston University, by 2025, robots could replace 2 million manufacturing jobs alone. In many ways, we simply can't compete with a machine. So what are we supposed to do? The answer lies in bolstering our soft skills. And since communication is a soft skill, in today's lesson, I'm going to run you through the top soft skills to improve so that you can stay relevant and irreplaceable in the age of machines. What is up, Explorers? Mary Daphne here of Explorning.co, where we believe social skills are the key to the good life. What's a good life? It's where you call the shots, you have a crew you can count on, and you're on a mission that you care about. Before I jump in, I encourage you to check out our comprehensive small talk guide. Just click the link in the description box below to get the free downloadable delivered straight to your inbox. It's worth investing time to develop skills that AI and robots aren't capable of. These skills are what we call soft skills, which the Oxford Dictionary defines as personal attributes that enable someone to interact effectively and harmoniously with other people. And to that, I'd probably also add the ability to interact harmoniously with yourself. All right, so are you ready for the soft skills lineup? Empathy. Empathy is the essence of our humanity. It's about tapping into other people's emotions and understanding and sharing them. It's part of the emotional bandwidth by which we interact with others, especially when making difficult decisions or when facing challenges. An advanced AI might be able to feign empathy, but true empathy comes from the heart and the soul. And this skill is often overlooked in business. As Mayel Gavitt contends in her book, Trampled by Unicorns, if you define corporate empathy as the ability of a company and its leadership to understand what's happening in the world around them and how their decisions impact people inside and outside the company, I think you actually have a better company. So we can't rely on AI to understand human feelings. Instead, we need to leverage our empathetic abilities to make the right decisions, especially when they're tough. Human connection. Don't undervalue the power of a smile. When we smile or laugh, we release endorphins and release stress and anxiety. A smile provides what psychologists call a moment of benevolent amnesia. And in a calm state, we're able to see clearer, thereby connecting better with our fellow humans. This is a major competitive advantage. Just think about it. To get the smiles and the laughs going, make some authentic small talk with your colleagues. This boosts rapport and team cohesiveness in a way that a robot will never be able to pull off. Active listening. Listening actively is one of the top communication skills to master. It enables us to hear what someone is saying, not just their words, but also the emotion behind the words. By paying attention to tonality, micro expressions, hand gestures, and facial expressions, we understand the emotional resonance behind the words. And this enables us to act on intuition, to build stronger connections with colleagues and clients, and make better business decisions. Robots don't have this kind of sophistication. They take what people say literally, and as a result, they will never be as adept as you are at incorporating context into one's actions. 
Nonverbal communication. So speaking of unspoken cues, by improving our nonverbals, like our gestures, our micro expressions, and facial expressions, we're able to communicate with much more fidelity. Words only convey 7% of our meaning. Nonverbals, on the other hand, comprise 55% of our meaning. So by refining our nonverbal communication and learning how to read other people's nonverbals, we'll leave the robots in the dust when it comes to behaving in a contextually appropriate way. So by refining our nonverbal communication and learning how to read other people's nonverbals, we'll leave the robots in the dust when it comes to behaving in a contextually appropriate way. Flexibility and adaptability. Flexibility is another quintessentially human characteristic. Robots are rigid in their behavior. They don't have a change of heart. They can't be convinced or persuaded. They are essentially binary. There's no gray area. That might be a good thing in some very specialized applications where you want zero variance, but in most business contexts, Flexibility is critical to effective teamwork and closing deals. Flexibility is what enables us to think more critically about something, weighing all of our options and considering any alternatives. Ultimately, it helps us bring a creative perspective to problem solving. So train your mental flexibility and you will have a huge advantage over our robot friends. All right, so there you have it, five soft skills that we'll need to stay competitive as AI seeps into our lives. So to recap, those skills are empathy, small talk, active listening, nonverbal communication, and flexibility. These five skills tap into what makes us human. They are at the core of our intuition and creativity. By mastering them, you will be able to develop deeper connections with your colleagues and clients leading to better business outcomes than a robot could ever hope for. So if you're worried about AI taking over your job, you now have the playbook you need to fight back. So now that I've shared our thoughts, I would love to hear your own ideas for improving soft skills. What other soft skills do you think we'll need in the age of AI? Share that with me and the learning community in the comments down below. And if you love this lesson, please be sure to let me know. You can give this video a thumbs up on YouTube. And if you haven't done so already, subscribe to join our tribe of explorers so that you never miss a lesson. And if you ring that bell, you'll get notified about our new lessons and live streams. Email this video to friends and coworkers who also want to supercharge their social skills. And while we're at it, feel free to also share with your friends on social as well. And remember that the write-ups of these lessons are always available on our blog at explorning.co slash blog. With that, have an awesome week, Explorers. Thank you so much for joining me, and I'll see you next time for your next Explorning lesson. Happy Explorning!